Hey everybody, Robert Dump, founder of ArtTop10.com. Here I am just outside the Hampstead Affordable Art Fair. Just about to nip inside and uh, have a quick look around. Just give you a little glimpse of Hampstead. Lovely, uh, lovely part of London here. So yeah, so here we go. I'm gonna nip inside and have a little snoop around this art fair. Okay, see you guys in a minute. Hey everybody, Robert Dump, founder of ArtTop10.com. And here we are today at the Hampstead Affordable Art Fair. Um, so, there's quite a few affordable art fairs every year. This is the Hampstead one, there's already been the Battersea one. Then I'm off to the one in um, Hong Kong next. And I think there's ones in Singapore, New York, all sorts of places around the world these days. Um, anyway, so this is just meant to be a quick little whiz round, give you an idea of what it's like. Hampstead is a uh, sort of nice, fancy part of London, um, where George Michael lived. Um, and we've got loads of galleries here with different things. Some things you may or may not like. But um, I'm not going to linger hours over every single picture. Just really trying to give you a vibe of the kind of things you might see, a feeling of what it's like. Some of these galleries from London, some of them are from places uh, outside London. And some of them like this one are from the Netherlands. It's quite a funky giant sort of photo there. Yeah. Big funky giant photo. £6,000, yeah, so £6,000 is the limit. You can't go above £6,000 here. So that is what is classed as affordable on the team. Sort of, uh, I suppose it's like a sort of seascape abstract. Oh, this one's from South Korea. I was interested in the people that come from South Korea. I'd love to go there and look around South Korea. This is a sort of, um, what do they call this? A freaky kind of um, artist in residence thing. These sort of uh, films of naked people. Um, we all begin as human, it is on our path that we gain distinctions such as race, religion and class. This is called We Are Human and explores and displays a way of a wonderful design yet beautifully different. There we go. Come to this gallery, far and wild from Cornwall, but like sort of um, some of those uh, merry bedroom kind of things. London contemporary art. Another one from London. Well, this is degreeart.com with uh, Navy's guy. Hello, as well. A few of these uh, big sort of heads they've got here. Kind of fun. Columbia Road Gallery in London. It's quite a lot from London. And this one's from Edinburgh over right here, on the right. Yeah. Gallery from Edinburgh, it's a bit of a change. Enjoyable flower in the bar. So obviously this is kind of a um it is affordable art, it's meant to be, you know, the kind of stuff you might want to come and buy for your home, I guess. It's a kind of funky sort of uh, edges of books. So yeah, so it's meant to be I guess you're meant to come here. Pick something you think would fit nicely in the house and head off with it. I don't think it's going to be more complicated than that. It's not necessarily trying to, um, at least freaky things. I don't know how these will come out on the camera, but in real life they're kind of freaky 3D stuff. This is a gallery from New York. I think it just looks flat on the camera, but in real life they're quite freaky. £6,000 again. Yeah. Highest price you can get here. Got a few more um, sort of John Lennon kind of things. You get a lot of um, get a lot of sort of images of pop stars or icons of these things. Gallery from Buckinghamshire. And we're in here, one from Rochester. So you've got quite a lot of um. There's one here from Madrid, Spain. It's got a slightly different sort of vibe to it. So I guess you know, you do get a different 
vibe out of the Spanish ones. It's probably some silly ones from abroad. Yeah, so Rochester, more sort of outside of London, basically. Freaky picture of these weird trees over here. Look at that. It's always interesting to come and see these things. Uh, more the Spain gallery. Fletcher and Madrid, Spain. Around here, Art House, London. Another London one. Stroll down this aisle, so I'm going to try and stroll up and down every aisle. I might have to speed it up so I don't actually get through them. This is quite a lot here. This is Nottingham, this one. Like these little splurgy abstract ones. And then down here you see you've got still a bit more of it. this one. More sort of pop star stuff, skateboarders. I guess that's aiming for the younger crowd. More London gallery, figurative sort of things. Even here. Oh, here we go. I know. I know this one. So this is my friend Joe. Yeah, so that painting of the sort of people in London Street was a painting by a friend of mine called Joe Holzer. Um, Bristol and Suffolk, more galleries from outside London. Oh, there's one here from France. I'm sure you can have all these things. Oh, it's a creepy abstract stuff. Nice colour. Easily priced. A bit of Basquiat kind of stuff. More photos. Intrigued, you don't seem to get more photos from the uh, galleries from abroad and from the UK. This one's from Sweden. A giant red elephant. I suppose these sort of make people laugh when they get home. <laughs> um, that was France. Now we're wandering around. Surreal. What work out who these people are. Um, like there were twins back there running in the gallery, which kind of blew my mind for a moment. Um, right, here we are, still wandering on down. So it's about, what time is it now? It's actually lunchtime, 12.53 here in London. Um, this one's from Stockholm, this gallery. Um, right, uh, this one's from London. Freaky sort of, there must be paintings, are there paintings? Oh, photographs. This big, heavily worked colour, so a bit of fun. Um, yes, yeah, so it's 12.53. It's not incredibly busy at the moment, but I assume it will busy itself up later in the day. This one here is from Hong Kong. A few little freaky people working on things. Yeah. London, you've got more sort of straightforward figurative uh, boats. They're not badly done, are they? Very acceptable. And I suppose there's even everything here. There's some Stockholm, Sweden. More funky again. And you've got such a huge variety of stuff here. It's slightly mind blowing as usual. It's difficult to know what. If you were going to get to them, what would you get? It's hard to tell. Overhead gallery, some uh, sculptures. Another one from London. Got this amazing sculpture of a little boy. Actually, it appears to be carved. It's quite amazing. Um, London, London gallery. Wander on down here. Anyway, I hope you're getting a vibe of the whole thing. Yep, there we are. More London. Stroll down here. Here we go, it's Rebecca Fox up there. There we go. Here we are. 
Australia and Palmer and Mallorca, that one. Check it out. That's a little alarming image there. And you've got a couple of rabbits just to uh, tone it down. And come down here. More London galleries. Oh, here we go, this one on the right. Netherlands. It's quite bizarre seeing all this stuff in such a intense <laughs> clamour. Oh, look at this one, there's this one up here. Three people have bought this one up here. £1,800 of print. Digital drawing. Intriguing. Nice size. Intriguing. It shows that people will go for digital drawings these days. £1,800 for digital drawing. Interesting. Interesting if you're producing that yourself. The um, issue you've got is paying for the frame. Other than that, too bad to produce it. Too expensive, I suppose. In reality, that frame is probably cheaper than a canvas. £1,800, the artist can get half of that. If he's lucky, he maybe more like 40%. So, say he gets 800 so that frame costs 150 It's going to make. What, 550 or something? So, three of those, one and a half thousand. It's not too bad, is it? We'll have a big well, London, this one's from uh, Brighton. Come on here, it's from France. Some freaky heads, there you go. Muhammad Ali, you got over there. All these icons. One's the icon, and this one's made out of computer keyboards. Funky. It's weird, isn't it? These things are like gimmicky sometimes, aren't they? More London. Bristol, this is confusion about stuff in Bristol now. Stockholm, Sweden. This one's London. More London down the end. Not quite there how you become obsessed by a certain thing here. I quite like those little colourful things, I think they're quite nice. That's what I you can see in the corner behind those people. It's quite like these colourful things. I suppose that's my kind of vibe. I look kind of, I look kind of pretty and happy. I like a bit of pretty and happy. Acrylic on paper. <laughs> Interesting. I was interested by these things. Click on paper, but the issue yet again is always framing. Print makers in the residence. So, so these are more prints. Turning tides, contemporary art in London. More London. Oh, Singapore and India. Check it out. It's got a real colour. Singapore and India vibe there. Anyway, check out all these colours. Wills Art Warehouse, London, London, both sides here. It's showing on down. Time to my gallery in Northumberland. Big photo, 6,000. Loads of my big photos. Big crazy swirling things. Time to my vacation. A bit of an eating area where you can chill out and have your champagne. So, yeah, so these are, I mean, they're basically selling the shows, aren't they? Although, well, probably everybody here would like to be in Tate Modern or some mega gallery in the world. These are kind of really just about trying to sell stuff. Big face, Italy. A nice face. Oh, sorry, this is. Bumped into somebody I knew for a bit. He used to be in a gallery in Wimbledon. He's now uh, running a gallery. I um, guess that's what it's like, the art world. Man. Everybody's always in one bit of it or the other. Um, here we are back. So we Eaton and Windsor. Here we go. Come on around. Here we go. Be afraid. Be afraid. Right, Put the info desk just five pounds, starting at two o'clock. In the rebound room. And here we go, this is the um, uh, Linda Blackstone Gallery, that's my painting there. Just have a little show of it. It's all inspired by the Jesus and Mary chain. If you remember them, they made pretty Beach Boys like songs. 
cover them in noise distortion and feedback, so the black and white shapes are like a visual metaphor for noise distortion and feedback. So maybe something kind of pretty that's messed up but then becomes pretty again. Like a painting of sound. That's Linda there. There's a couple of other more smaller pieces in the corner lurking out uh, Stockholm. And this one from Barcelona. A few people with their eyeballs jacked. And down here, if you take contemporary London, sort of printing Essex, a few Japanese sort of vibe going down. London, weird faces. Antica Modern Bath. These guys here is quite a lot of painty stuff. They seem to do quite well, these guys. They seem to sell quite a lot of things. They're very, I suppose they're more painty than the rest of it. It's good or bad. And down here, all of those books. Strolling on. So let me speed up a bit drugstore so I can get through this whole thing. Hamburg, Germany, more big faces here, a lot of big faces at these things, don't we? Skylark Gallery, London, Maybe here from Devon, big abstract, don't just like that. So, from London, I just walked in somebody. Um, it's alright, well, um, it's okay, but it's difficult isn't it? That's the question, is it wall furniture or is it art? That is always the question, especially in well, every show you go to these days, especially every art fair. Whether you're in the affordable art fair or at Freeze, is it just stuff to decorate a wall or is it trying to change the world? Own art, you can uh, spread the cost. Oh man, sort of freaky giant sort of entertainment thing down there. Probably a more for kids in the can't quite get a picture of it. But in like sort of a printing press with somebody printing from me. These are the sort of fun bits. Here's a sort of um, here's a uh, what we call it, sort of workshop area. These are the winners of the Jackson's Open Painting Prize. It's quite a long one. Fourth year this thing goes on. 5,366 5, entries from all around the world. One round here, another gallery from London. Strolling on, on the right, one from Bath, one from Denmark, with some waves. East London printmakers, four walls, Brightland Home. Yes, on the back. Yeah. East London printers, London. This is from more London. Missed one of the aisles, mate. Uh, a bit more London, a bit of a TC vibe going on. This is from Norfolk, so it's more of a photography gallery, which has a change. Yeah, lots of um, babies and prams and dogs at these fairs as well. That's a bit of fun. There's this, not sure. Cafe, a quick look at the cafe. You get yourself a salad, highly priced salad, or any of those other things. Um, Karina Hasmark, Great Missenden, wherever that is, somewhere outside London. A few things there, we're in here. Oh, no, I'm more South Korea. <laughs> you get Audrey Hepburn again. Has anybody hesitated a picture of Audrey Hepburn these recently? Hopefully, um, in the same. Worcester, Dublin, Ireland. Fine Art Consultancy in London. Most contemporary Bristol. The art agency Isha. Isha is sort of very not far away from Surrey and Guildford and all those sort of things. This one's from Belgium. Fun abstract there. Cheering up. This one. Devon. And there we go. And there we go. Seems to have come back to my bank. That's a bit of luck. And stroll on down here, and that's it. Gives you the vibe.
Anyway, as I said, I don't want to linger on anything too long. Just a quick stroll through to give you a vibe of it. So anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gives you a little taster of what this thing was like. And um, there we go. Do like and subscribe if you possibly can. Donate as we have no other money from anywhere to help us do this thing. And it would be nice if we weren't just always losing money doing it. So please, donate. And here's the exit. Anyway, so, hope you enjoyed it. And see you all soon. Cheer up. Bye, 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 bye. Bomb buckler.